What's going on there, YouTube fans? Zonk the Cat here. What's going on, my kittens? Hit like, subscribe. Hit the, you know, the little bell icon deal. All right. This title of this video basically is clickbait, I guess. But it's titled The Nazi Lie. Epic Fail. What do I mean by the Nazi lie epic fail? The, not, the whole thought of Nazism is a lie. The way people think about the Nazis is not a lie. But Hitler and Joseph Goebbels, Goering, Himmler, and a lot of the others in the Nazi party believed in something that just wasn't true. It's all based on bullshit. The Third Reich, guess what? There was no First or Second Reich. Basically, the Third Reich is a 1,000-year rule. There was no first or second 1,000-year rule because before uh, German, Germany was Germany, it was called Germania back in Roman times, and it was just a bunch of German barbarians in tiny little tribes and in in small plotted around small areas. That's why the uh, Roman people were, well, the Roman army was able to roll over them and just be able to sack the entire country and take it because there was no real standing army like the Roman army at the time in Germany or Germania. So there was no first or second Reich. So the third Reich is complete bullshit. Like I said, Nazism is a lie. Second of all, the swastika that was on the German flag and plastered over every damn thing that they could possibly uh, print it on, paint it on, make flags out of it and so on and so forth was stolen from the Indians from the country of India it's actually in that country even today it's plastered all over their gods and temples on cars uh, kind of you know religious symbols and so on and so forth the Germans stole it from the Indians who the Germans say they stole it, uh, you know, a couple thousand years ago from the German people. That's a lie. Uh, Nazism is based on a lie. And how did they propagate this lie? They propagated it off of complete bullshit. The bullshit was... The bullshit was, is that they were able, through Joseph Goebbels, be able to use propaganda to the German people to m manipulate their minds and be able to brainwash the German people into thinking that all these great things were a part of their, you know, their great Germanic history. They even went so far as to get, you know, the SS and the Gestapo to go to other countries and steal their history and make it a part of the German history. It's a very well-known thing, uh, anybody who reads their history, that Hitler wanted to create his own Roman Empire within Germany. That's why most of the artistic uh, values of building roads such as the Autobahn and so on and so forth, was not just for military purposes, but what was the Romans really known for doing? Creating the very first roads throughout the world. So, you know, Ger uh, Hitler's Germany tried to create a new Roman Empire, but in German, well, what he thought was German values. And it was all bullshit. It was complete bullshit. So, you know, having said that, what else did the, you know, the German people try to, well, not German people, but the German uh, political hierarchy during the Nazi regime tried to do? They also tried to create a religion. 
Nazi religion and tried to make Hitler as their god, kind of like uh, Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-il are perceived in North Korea. They're perceived as gods, which is really, really messed up and weird. They tried to create a Nazi um, uh, religion, and how did they try to do this? Well, they tried to do this through uh, Heydrich Himmler and the Nazi SS in their temple. There is a castle looking structure, and it used to be an ancient castle um, in Germany, and it was redesigned as a SS temple so to speak. If you go there, there are still some sort of, you know, uh, things that Heinrich Himmler did to the castle that were never original for the place to turn it into a religious uh, house of worship for the Nazi party and for the SS. Completely insane. Absolute nutcases. But they tried to create a Nazi, um, a, a Nazi religion. But what was Nazism to its core? It was, and still is thought, as a socialistic, or a social, or a socialist, uh, I should say, socialism. Why will so socialism never take a grip? Because it always fails in every aspect. They always try to manipulate people's minds. They always try to brainwash and they always try to control. And people don't want to be controlled. They just want to be free. So if you look through history and you look up proper history, Nazism was a gigantic lie perpetrated by Hitler, Joseph Goebbels, Heinrich Himmler, and Hermann Goering. They were, behind, they were the brains behind the Nazi lie. So, millions of people went to their deaths. Millions of people went to their deaths for a lie. The Jewish people were a scapegoat, unfortunately. Okay, that's the, uh, the, the end of the video. I uh, just want to say, um, uh, know your history. Look at your history of socialism and how evil it can be. And what people have done with it in the past is just truly disgusting. Um... You know, take a moment and think about Nazi Germany and during the war and all the Jewish people that went to their deaths in the uh, concentration camps. Say a prayer for them. Say a prayer for their families. Please, y'all, love your neighbors regardless of what color or race they are. Just love one another and try and try to keep the peace. Let's fight socialism, let's fight for our country, but let's do it peacefully. Let's do it the right way. Let's not go off the frickin off the damn rails. Okay, y'all? Love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Later.